Hola, hola. Hi, you guys. How are you? Uh, my name is Sandra. I'm sure you guys know. Thank you guys for watching, subscribing, for coming back to my channel. If you haven't seen my other videos, check them out. And thank you guys for being here. All my new subscribers and my day ones. I'm happy to have you. And I'm your hostess with the mostess. And without further ado, let's talk about this today's topic yo what up did y'all miss me I mean I'm not even gonna ask I know y'all miss me okay hi guys it's been a minute like two weeks now for me it feels like forever and I've been just very busy with these jobs hunty and everything else that I got going on so so much things going on but I'm so grateful for them all but today I'm back officially back and we will be talking about someone a question that I, I got that question I've been wanting to do it for a few minutes I got it and I never had the time to film for it but I got it a few weeks back and okay it's pertaining what's it about Oh, um, people who say like they they don't want people who are picky basically when it comes to dating like they don't want to date somebody with this they don't want to date somebody with that this and third and um, like why be so picky and why not just you know try to be understanding of course I completely understand that you know you're never gonna meet someone who's a hundred percent perfect and you're always going to need to work on your relationship and you're going to work on who you are as people especially when two different people are coming together and trying to coexist and if you try to do it for the end of your days that's gonna take a challenge it's gonna be an everyday there's going to be you know little arguments I don't mind having little arguments as long as us figuring out each other and how to deal with each other that's one thing but I don't see anything wrong with somebody being picky especially as young as I am at the age that I am this is my time to be picky if I can be picky now I'm definitely not gonna be able to be picky when I'm 40 so if I'm improving my life I want someone who kind of What's the word I'm looking for? Compliments that. So if I don't want to date somebody who's busted, if I don't want to date somebody without a job, if I don't want to date somebody without a car, or I mean, the type of car to me really doesn't really matter, but you should be able, you should have your shit somewhat together, even if you're still making improvements and still trying to figure out your career and things like that. But you should at least be on your way because I'm not 15 and I'm not 17. I'm not gonna tell you my age I think y'all know my age but whatever so there's nothing wrong with being picky and wanting it all now is your time to want it all if someone you're dating you feel like you can do better drop them like a bad habit and go find the person who that you actually want to be with I I think I said this before though this is not something new but if that's not what you want personally for your life don't do it one of the most disheartening things that i see all the time is like people will run off to get married as if like they're trying to accomplish something marriage is not a, an accomplishment or it's something that you should rush into and sadly there are people like who will put up with anything people who will settle for like people who don't even deserve them just to say that you know i have a ring on my finger or i have a husband or they'll know that this person is running around with a million hundred people but still you know what he comes back to me at the end of it all so that's my man having a man is not an accomplishment there's more to life than getting married there's more to life than having a boyfriend there's more to life there's a lot more to be accomplished so now is your time to work on your goals I'm not saying not to have fun not to date I mean everybody need love or entertainment whatever but that that's not the reason why you should run off and get married like people will be like oh i'm 28 now i'm 30 now i'm almost this no 
it don't let your age be an enzyme in deciding important factors in your life don't rush into things just because you feel like you're getting older just because you feel like all my friends are doing it all my friends have already accomplished this or have already gotten married or in serious relationship but what do you have that's going to add value to your life that that they don't have okay they're married what about a career what about their goals what about all these things and yes it is harder it's a lot harder to work on your goals and your careers when you have kids there's people who do it cool but it is harder don't deny that factor be realistic i think as human beings our emotions i wouldn't say our emotions is make us superior but it definitely separates us from different animals and how we regulate our emotions our emotional control but a lot of people seem to think that it makes us superior i wouldn't agree with that i don't think our emotions make us superior i think it makes us impractical if anything it makes us irrational because instead of doing things that needs to be done we are now cut up all up in our feelings like a tiger or a lion is not going to not attack a zebra because it just had a baby so in conclusion yes you should want it all yes you should be picky yes you should decide what you want and let go of what you don't want and go look for it somewhere else and there's nothing wrong with being picky so you should want it all you should go for it and go for everything and beyond because you never know what what greatness is awaiting you out there and thank you guys for watching. I will talk to you in the next video next Saturday. Bye-bye. Oh, if you're not on my Instagram, you're missing out. Because hmm, I'm about to blow up my Instagram. So, Sandra Nico and the IKO. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, share this video with your friends. Subscribe to my channel so you can see my latest content. Um... I'm on Facebook, facebook.com forward slash Sandra said what. I'm on Instagram, Instagram, Sandra, S-A-N-D-R-A, Nico, N-E-I-K-O. I'm on Twitter, Twitter, Sandra underscore normal, N-O-R-M-I-L. Where else am I? Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Send your questions to Sandra said, S-A-I-D. A lot of people think it's say, it's said, because I done already been said to it. Okay, said what at gmail.com. And I think that's all the places that I'm at. Like, comment, share, subscribe. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.